Hey friends, today I have got another simple basic math problem for you. The question is 6 minus 1 times 0 plus 2 divided by 2. If you think you know the answer, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Alright, now here's something interesting. A lot of people solve this problem quickly and end up with the wrong answer. Why does that happen? Let's break it down step by step. What most people do is subtract 1 from 6 first. That gives 5. Now the expression becomes 5 times 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Next they multiply 5 times 0 which equals 0. Now the expression becomes 0 plus 2 divided by 2. If they go left to right from here they do 0 plus 2 that gives 2. Now the expression is 2 divided by 2. Finally 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So they end up with an answer of 1. But that's incorrect. The mistake happens because when solving mathematical expressions like this, we have to follow the order of operations. I'm sure you have heard of the rule PEMDAS or sometimes called BODMAS. In PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. So let's apply PEMDAS to this problem. 6 minus 1 times 0 plus 2 divided by 2. First we check for parentheses, but we don't see any parentheses here. Next we check for exponents, and there aren't any exponents in this problem either. After that comes multiplication and division. They are at the same level, so we perform them in order from left to right. First we do 1 times 0, and that gives 0. Next we handle the division. 2 divided by 2 which equals 1. That means the expression now becomes 6 minus 0 plus 1. Finally, we move on to addition and subtraction going from left to right. 6 minus 0 equals 6. Then 6 plus 1 equals 7. So the correct answer to this problem is 7. Did you get 7 as your answer too? If so, that means you really understand PEMDAS. Great job. Now here's another problem for you to try on your own. 7 plus 7 divided by 7 plus 7 times 7. Go ahead and work it out and then share your answer in the comments below. I'll check and reply to let you know if you got it right. Give it a try and let's see how many of you can solve it correctly. Alright, that's it for today's video. See you in the next one.